yeah we are doing the first chapter that is basis of information technology now in this basis of information technology first we will understand what is information technology information technology encompasses all of the technologies that we use in order to create collect process protect and store information information technology refers to hardware software computer programs and computer network basically it covers everything it covers okay how to create how to collect process protect and store information also it refers to hardware software computer programs and the entire computer network now based on this okay audio you need to solve this fill in the blanks that this dash encompasses all of the technologies that we use in order to create collect process protect and store information dash refers to hardware software computer programs and computer network now you have to listen the audio carefully and then you have to solve this fill in the blanks now after solving this fill in the blanks there's some activity you need to do that is called a student activity based on fill in the blanks you need to create true or false i'll show you the example how to create because in rest in all the fill fill ups okay you need to create a true or false multiple choice question single choice and theory by your own theory i will help you out okay because in that you can cross check your fill in the blanks now how to solve the true or false how to create the true or false basically the answer is given through that means the fill up answer is the right the answer is dash encompasses that means information technology encompasses all of the technologies that we use in order to create collect process protect and store information and the second answer is false because the because the right answer is not science it is information technology so i have written science purposely to make one true or false as a false now here is the multiple choice question in that in of the first okay fill up information technology is the right and three you have to give the wrong option and second you have to try by your own now define information technology as i told you okay information technology encompasses all of the technologies that we use in order to create collect process protect and store information now you can cross check your fill in the blanks okay based on the theory answer theory answer will help you out so you can cross check your fill ups information technology refers to hardware software computer programs and computer network basically information covers everything that is hardware software computer programs and computer network in detailing we will understand what is hardware what is software what is computer program and computer network in the entire chapter the second question is explain ICT full form of ICT is you have to listen to the audio carefully that is information and communication technology information and communication technology involves transfer and use of all kind of information information and communication technology is the foundation of economy and driving force of a social change in the 21st century so of the 21st uh, it, it is the backbone of the economy okay of the 21st century and it covers all the kind of information full form of ICT is dash dash concept involves transfer and use of all kind of information dash is the foundation of economy and a drawing force of social change in the 21st century now this is a student activity again you need to create be a true or false based on the fill in the blanks multiple choice question single choice and theory question now here is the theory question that i have created so you can cross check your fill ups full form of ict is information and communication technology information and communication technology concept involves transfer and use of all kind of information information and communication technology the foundation of economy and a driving force of the social change in the 21st century now the other question is what is data and information first we understand what is data data can be any character text word number or raw facts information is data so information we can derive based on data so information is nothing but data formatted in a manner that allows it to be utilized by human being in some significant way now here is the fill up that can be any character text word number or raw facts dash is data formatted in a manner that allows it to be utilized by human beings in some significant way now here is the student activity and the theory question what is data and information data can be character text word number or raw facts information is data formatted in manner that allows it to be utilized by human being in some significant way now the other question is what is computer and computer system now the word computer is derived from a latin word computer a c o u c o m p u t a r e an electronic device which accept input from the user 
so something it accept from the user then process it according to the instruction given to it so whatever the instruction has been given by the user it just process it and gives the required result in the form of output so what we see that is output that is nothing but your computer a computer can process data image audio video and graphics computer accept data or instructions by way of input computer stores data computer can process data as required by the user computer give result in the form of output computer controls all operation inside a computer so here is the fill in the blanks the word computer is derived from a latin word dash an electronic device which accept input from the user process it according to the instruction given to it and gives the required result in the form of output is a dash a dash can pro process data image audio video and graphics dash accepts data or instructions by way of input dash stores data dash can process data as required by the user dash give result in the form of output dash control all operations inside a computer now here is the student activity based on the fill in the blanks student has to create true or false multiple choice question and theory question now the theory question is this what is computer and computer system the word computer is derived from a latin word computer an electronic device which accept input from the user as i told you earlier can process it according to the instructions given to it and gives the required result in the form of output that is a computer a computer can process what data image audio video and graphics computer accept data or instructions by of input computer stores data computer can process data as required by the user computer gives result in the form of output computer controls all operation inside a computer now the next question is what is computer architecture computer architecture is a specification detailing of how a set of software and hardware technology standards interact to form a computer system so both hardware and software has to be compatible okay then only the system will work computer architecture refers to how a computer system is designed and how it works so now here is the philips dash is a specification detailing of how a set of software and hardware technology standards interact to form a computer system now the yellow color indi indicates okay this fill in the blanks is there in multiple choice question two choices dash refers to how a computer system is designed and how it works student activity and here is the theory question what is computer architecture computer architecture is a specification detailing of how a set of software and hardware technology standard interacts to form a computer system computer architecture refers to how a computer system is designed and how it works so basically it designs the hardware and software compatibility now the other question is explain input unit now input unit helps the user to in to enter data and commands into a system the main function of the input device is to direct command and data into computer okay so whatever i give the instructions to the computer it is through input unit keyboard is an input device that enters numbers and character a mouse can be an input device for entering direction and command now here is your philips dash helps user to enter data and commands into computer system the main function of dash device is to direct command and data into computer dash is an input device that enters number and character a dash can be an input device for entering directions and command here is the student activity now the theory question explain input unit e input unit helps user to enter data and command into a computer system the main function of input unit is to direct commands and data into a computer keyboard is an input device that enter numbers and character a mouse can be an input device for entering directions and command now the other question is briefly explain cpu and its elements so we'll understand the cpu the full form of cpu central processing unit now what the cpu does after receiving data and input from the user a computer system has to process it so once the input device okay enters the data so it processes it according to the instruction provided yeah it has to rely on a component called central processing unit now the central processing unit further uses three elements that is arithmetic and logic unit control unit and memory unit so we'll understand okay what is arithmetic logic unit control unit and me memory unit full form of alu is arithmetic and logic unit arithmetic and logic unit part of the cpu performs arithmetic operations arithmetic and logic unit can even perform logical like comparison of data along with arithmetic it performs logical also control unit is the backbone of computer 
control unit is the responsible for coordinating tasks between all the components of a computer system so basically it controls all the units control units and it's a coordinator between all the units the control units collects the data from input units and send it to the processing unit depending on its nature control unit transmit data transmit process data to output unit to facilitate user once a user enters the data using input unit the computer stores system stores this data in its memory unit the memory unit uses a set of pre-programmed instructions to further transmit this data to other part of the CPU. It's a very big answer. Let us briefly explain CPU and its element. So full form, but it is very easy. Uh, full form of CPU, then CPU, the three elements. So basically it explains the three elements in this answer. After receiving the data and commands from a CPU, a computer system has to process it according to to the instruction provided here it has to rely on a comp component called the dash the dash further uses three elements arithmetic and logic unit control unit and memory unit full form of ALU, ALU is dash dash part of the CPU performs arithmetic operations dash can even perform logical operation functions like comparison of data dash is the backbone of the computer dash is responsible for coordinating tasks between all components of a computer system the dash collects data from input unit and sends it to processing unit depending on its niche. Dash transmit data, transmit process data to output units to facilitate user. Once a user enters the data into input devices, the computer stores this data in its dash. The dash uses a set of pre-programmed instructions to further transmit this data to other part of the CPU. Now this is a student activity. Now this is a big answer. Briefly explain CPU and its element. As I told you, okay, in CPU and, and its element, basic CPU in this okay three element has been de described okay in a detailed way. So full form of CPU has been given central processing unit, and it has been explained okay as I told you earlier okay what is CPU after receiving the data and command from a user, a computer system has to process it according to the instruction provided here. It has to rely on a component called the CPU. If you learn the fill in the blanks thoroughly you can easily correct the theory answer the central processing unit further uses three elements arithmetic and logic unit control unit and memory unit full form of ALU is arithmetic and logic unit arithmetic and logic unit part of the CPU performs arithmetic operations arithmetic and logic unit can even performs logical operations logical functions like comparison of data control unit is the backbone of computer control unit is the responsible for coordinating tasks between all components of a computer system the control unit collects data from input unit and send it to processing unit depending on its nature control unit process data to output units to facilitate user once a user enters data into using input device the, con the computer system stores this data in its memory unit the memory unit uses a set of pre-programming instructions to further transmit the data to other parts of the CPU now other question is explain the types of memory there are two types of memory primary memory and secondary memory primary memory is an internal memory of the computer primary memory is also known as the main memory as primary memory holds the data and instruction on which computer is currently working then ram ram stands for random access memory random access memory is known as read and write memory random access memory is generally referred to as main memory of the computer system Random access memory is a temporary memory. Random access memory is also called as volatile memory. ROM. Read-only memory stands for like ROM that is stands for read-only memory. Read-only memory is a permanent type memory. Read-only memory cannot be overwritten by the computer. Read-only memory is also called as non-volatile memory. Secondary memory is an external memory of the computer. Second memory memory is used to store huge amount of different programs and information basically there are two types of memory primary and secondary dash is an internal memory of a computer dash is also known as main memory dash holds the data and instruction on which computer is currently working ram stands for dash dash is known as read and write memory dash generally refers to as main memory of the computer system dash is a temporary memory dash is also called as volatile memory rom stands for dash is a permanent type memory dash cannot be overwritten by the computer dash is called also called non volatile memory dash is an external memory of computer dash is used to store huge amount of different programs and information 
Now this is a student activity and explain the types of memory. There are two types of memory, primary and secondary. Now primary memory is an internal memory. Basically primary memory description has been given a lot and secondary description is given very minimum. So we will understand in detail okay, what is primary memory and inside primary memory also RAM and ROM also is there. Primary memory is an internal memory of the computer. Primary memory is also known as main memory. Primary memory holds the data and instructions on which computer is currently working. RAM stands for random access memory. Random access memory is known as read and write memory. Random access memory is generally referred to as main memory of the computer system. Random access memory is a temporary memory. Random access memory is called as volatile memory also. ROM stands for read only memory. Read only me memory is a permanent type memory. Read only memory cannot be overwritten by the computer. Read only memory is also called as non volatile memory. And secondary memory is an external memory of the computer. And secondary memory can store a huge amount of data, huge amount of different programs or informations. 